Hello ladies, so today I wanna to talk about this new foundation that I picked up. So first I wanna say I started by prepping my skin, not with foundation. I recently picked up this Fenty Skin Kit and this is like the little trial kit so you can try the different products. And I have to say, I am really liking Rihanna's skincare line. I've been using it for a couple of days, so it's not a review, but I would highly recommend all of you to just get the kit and see if you like it because I love the Total Cleanser. It's foaming um, and it takes my makeup off pretty good. I like the fat water. It's supposed to reduce the look of dark spots. We'll see if that's true. I also like the Hydra Visor, and that is the moisturizer. It gives your skin like a brightening glow. And so I didn't use a primer. I don't always use a primer with my foundations, but I did start my skincare with this new Fenty kit, and you need to grab this and try it out and see if y'all like her products. Now, this is from Essence. Essence is a very inexpensive makeup line that you can find in some drugstores and online. Now, I picked up the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Sometimes in the Middle East, I have a hard time with finding my color, so I picked up, what color is this? Warm Sun in 200. And Warm Sun is a little too light for me, but I still decided to pick it up because, you know, I love light, natural looking foundations. Honestly, this foundation feels really nice on my skin. I have combination skin, so in the middle of my face, I do get extremely oily in my T-zone. And that happened as I got older. When I was younger, I really didn't get oily in my T-zone, but I noticed that I'm very oily here. I like this because it almost feels like a matte foundation, but I feel it still looks really natural on the skin. So it's funny that they call it a hydrating foundation, but I don't find it drying personally on my skin. So it's also supposed to have aloe vera. I will leave a link to the website so you can go and look and see what this foundation is all about. Now, 24 hour long lasting hydration. I don't know what person wears their foundation for 24 hours. That's a very weird claim, but still and yet, I think that if this was my color, it would have been a good option for me, but I'm still able to make it work, obviously, and you should be able to see that <laughs> as I discuss this foundation right now, as I apply it. Now, I had to apply this foundation with my NYX Pro Foundation Mixer. Now, basically, this is just a foundation product that will help you get the color you need. So they have white, they have this one in olive. Um, I believe they have other colors, but I have this one in white and I also have it in this color, which is olive. And so I mixed it with the foundation because obviously it was a little too light, but I also applied the foundation itself in the middle of my face because the color worked okay for the middle of my face, but it, it would not work for the perimeter of my face. And so I use that as well. So that's all I really have to say about this foundation. I think that it wears pretty well um, and I, I like it. So overall, my thoughts about this foundation is if you can find your shade, I think it's worth a try. I mean, it's so inexpensive. Why wouldn't you pick it up if you can find your shade? It's comfortable. I like how it's controlling the oil. And the powder that I picked up is also from the Essence brand. And I really do like this powder. The powder, I believe, you know, it does its job. It's nothing spectacular about it, but it's not a bad finishing powder. So I think that you should give that powder a try. I got the color, let me see what color I got because I don't know what color it is. I got the color medium. And while I 
Don't like this under my eyes. I feel it's a little dark for under my eyes. I just decided to use it over my entire face today. And that's what I normally do, especially when I'm using a tinted moisturizer. I like to use a powder that has color, a loose powder that has color. I just picked up one from Gucci. It's a compact and it's a finishing powder. I can't wait to show you guys uh, all of the things that I picked up from Gucci, but I have different you know, finishing powders. And I think this is a, a really good product from the Essence Cosmetics line. I think this is a winner. So I would definitely recommend that you pick this one up. So I told you guys in my last foundation video that I was looking for Rihanna's Waffles and Honey. Is that what it's called? I think it's called Waffles and, no, Honey and Waffles. <laughs> so yeah, I was looking for the Honey and Waffles because I love that tan nude color and so I was able to find it and I decided to pair it with my cork lip liner from MAC Cosmetics. And so I'm so happy that I was able to pick this up. They restocked in the Sephora out here in Kuwait so I was able to finally pick this one up and I am wearing that right now and I just, I love it so much. I also use the concealer. I really do like the concealer it was creamy, it's smooth. There weren't many colors for me to choose from in my local store that I picked it up in, but I still like it. I would repurchase the concealer. You know, I'm not saying it's the best concealer I ever used, but it's definitely not the worst concealer that I ever used. So I think inexpensive products like finishing powders and concealers are a great way to add to your makeup collection and also keep it small. I don't have a ton of makeup, but I'm going through like a revamping phase of my makeup and I'm in a makeup mood, obviously from these videos that I've been releasing. Uh, I'm just in a makeup mood. So I'm buying, you know, more foundation and skincare products because that's just the kind of mood I'm in right now. So I definitely would recommend this line. Go to the store, try it out, try the powders, try the lipsticks, try out what you want to try out. But what I like is that this gives you still a natural look. It doesn't cover all of my blemishes. I have a blemish right here on my nose that kind of just popped up out of nowhere. And I also have some dark scarring um, from past breakouts on this side of my cheek. So sometimes those natural imperfections peek out, but that's truly what makes your foundation look natural. And I recommend for all feminine women who just want a nice, natural, beautiful look. You're not trying to look like draggy. You're not trying to look like you put on 15 layers of makeup. It's okay to let your natural imperfections poke out because you're not about to go on a photo shoot. You really want your skin to still look like skin. So that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video or you enjoy it if we're at the end of the video. And I wanna thank you so much for watching and being a subscriber to my channel. Make sure you join us on Patreon. I have so much that I want to say over in that private community where we talk about fashion and personal development. And I will see you guys in my next video. You can also follow me on Instagram at naturallyfashionable and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.